Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will going to talk about the paired sample t-test. So previously, I have shown you the chi-square test and one sample t-test, which you can do it from the tools statistics chart wizard. And then we are talking about the paired sample t-test, which is an option within the one sample t-test. So here, um, let's talk more about the paired sample t-test, about what it is and how we need to perform it. So as it is said that it is used to evaluate whether the impact of catalyst is making any significant difference. So what basically catalyst mean is that any special thing that you are doing on a same group which is behaving normally in one condition is behaving significantly different when you give them let's say some sort of special training or medicine or any other boost. So that's, that's basically the catch that uh, you have the same group of people or same set of uh, uh, object and then you apply uh, two different conditions on them and then test whether two different conditions are uh, the behavior in two different conditions are extremely different or it's the same so generally you have seen you will see such kind of an experiment in the medicine kind of an industry where they where first they observe the uh, the behavior of an object in the normal condition and then the behavior after giving some sort of medicine and then they test the result. So here in this case, I have given you a different example so that you can relate it more towards the practical life. So here a group of researchers wanted to ask test whether continuous study will help getting good marks or study with some breaks to get refreshed will give better marks. For that, first they asked the students to study continuously for eight hours and appear off for the test and very next day they asked the students to continuously study for two hours and then take a five minute break and then continue to study for eight hours so that means that after every two hours they need to take a break of five minutes to complete the study of eight hours that's what the test basically is saying and then we want to see the impact that if whether taking a break of five minute is giving us the better results or not so again we need to frame the hypothesis the hypothesis is that uh, the, the null hypothesis is that these two different scenario does not make any difference and we get a similar result that's the first hypothesis or assumption we need to make or the question that we need to frame the second hypothesis is that yes taking a five minute break will significantly uh, change the condition or improve it so improve it that means we want to go on the right side of the tail on the so if you have seen the bell curve bell curve if we are on the left hand side that means we are decreasing and if we are on the right hand side that means we are increasing and since it is increment in the mark we are doing a right tailed test in this case and thirdly you have the both uh, two tail test which goes on the both side and to know more about that you can refer to any of these statistics books and get more information about that but let's come back to our scenario and here is our data so marks one is the one uh, when you got it when you continuously studied for eight hours so this is the first group and the second group is basically uh, you studied for two hours and then you took five minute break and then you gave the test and you got these marks so let's see uh, how this how the output is coming and by utilizing the statistics chart wizard and i go in one sample t-test and here it is saying paired sample t-test and i'll click next now the setting that you need to do is like this which i have done marks two minus marks one that means you want to test the difference that's the basically basic idea when you do the paired sample t-test since they are dependent we want to see we want to test their uh, behavior by utilizing their difference so we are saying that marks two are better than marks one so that's why we are dividing marks two minus marks one and then the test value is, is specifying this zero because we are just specifying whether they are significantly different from each other or not but if it is there any any value like you want to say let's say 70 percent in my previous example i have mentioned if you want to test that then there is a separate trace and you need to specify the test value but now i am just testing whether they are significantly differ from each other or not 
and I'm going and I have just specified the zero. So now I will check all the options just uh, for your maybe curiosity that what numbers they uh, come back with. And we want to test that at 95 degree confidence level, which says that at 95 degree confidence level, we are sure that the output that we are getting is correct. And there is just 5% error chance. So without further much uh, talking, let me click finish and produce the result. I think that's what you're waiting for. All right, so we have t-test uh, value as a 4.167 and 11 degree of freedom. And since it is right tail test or one tail test, then let's look at the uh, value in the t, t table. So t table, as I said in the previous video, that you can find anywhere uh, by just writing on the Google um, that you need t table in PDF form and then you will get this PDF. So we have 11 degrees of freedom and within 11 of degrees of freedom, uh, we want one tail at 95 degree confidence. So if I come down here, that's 1.796. So if my value is 1.796 or below to that, then I will accept the null hypothesis. That means there is no significant difference between those two groups. And what ultimately means that if, even if you are giving two minutes break or five minutes break after two hours of study, it is not changing the result. Both the guys are getting or both the, the guys are getting the similar result. So there is no point in giving breaks. Now we will reject the value if value is beyond 1.796 that means greater than 1.796 at 11 degrees of freedom so if you see the t test value is 4.167 which is greater than 1.796 that will show that yes the marks are significantly different from uh, each other when you apply continuous eight hour study and the study where you are giving a five minute break after every two hours and that way you will be able to make a general uh, uh, you know general recommendation to your uh, to your education department that they should guide their uh, parents or they should basically uh, ask their ask the parents to give small breaks after a uh, regular interval let's say here in this case 2 hours so that's the kind of recommendation or research testing you can do with the help of the paired sample t-test but the uh, what when you need to do it is where is, is basically in such situation where your test objects are same so here in this case we have similar student who were asked to go for continuous eight hour study and then in the next day they were asked to study for two hours take a break for five minutes come back and then complete eight hours and then we evaluated their result by giving them the test so idea is that uh, population sample is not changing it's just that we are applying some some sort of catalyst or some sort of training or some sort of medicine or that kind of catalyst we are applying in a general term and uh, then evaluating how the change is in in those objects so with that i will conclude this video and uh, i will meet you in the new video with a new topic